Hello. How you doing? Glasses on? Or glasses off? Maybe on. I don't know, I don't know if you can see the light glaring in my eyes a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Hey! Hey, I'm Pete. I am an indie artist. And I find that kind of weird to say because I'm not only an indie artist, but I play the genre of indie music. This is my air guitar. I wanted to sit down and chat with you guys for a few minutes. So welcome, sit back, have a coffee. I go under the artist name of Pyramid Park and it is awesome to be able to see your lovely faces. Thanks so much if you have subscribed to this channel, by the way. I normally don't do vlogs like this, but I want to do something a bit different today. I'm in my yellow chair. I'm wearing my classic blue today. So I want to say who I am and welcome to my channel. Kind of talk about a few things that are going on in my world and look forward to, yeah, telling you about a few changes that are gonna be happening in the coming few weeks as I vlog something different. So um, I, am, I have been working as an independent artist now for the last four years and it has been my full-time job Aside from a little bit of Deliveroo, which I haven't done for ages now, but I did certainly once or tw twice a month or three times a month, depending on how much cash I needed. Um, that was fun, going from playing stages on tour and then <laughs> being treated like poo when you're delivering stuff sometimes. But anyway, I've been running this thing in this room for the last four years. I've had the privilege of being able to play lots of gigs in mainland Europe. That was before Brexit happened. I wanted to record this because I realized there've been a bunch of new people who have been watching my videos on here and particularly my shorts that I've been doing here and on TikTok. Thank you so much if you're one of those people and you're kind of wanting to find out a little bit more about me, what I'm doing, what I'm about. It's awesome to have you here. Thank you. Uh, so a few things. Like I said, I create indie pop music. I love songwriting. I think songwriting is a huge... Um, I, you know, when I was young, I didn't think... When I was really young, I didn't think that it was possible to be able to write your own songs. I didn't get how someone went from not being a songwriter to suddenly being a songwriter. And one day I wrote my first song and then I realized because of the response from a few people, I could write songs. So I wrote a bunch more and they were all rubbish for about two years. So I gave up and then someone said to me one day, hey, you should write songs again. And I believe one day you're gonna be writing an album like this, pointing to an artist. And I was like, okay, after a while, he kept saying it to me, and saying it to me, and saying it to me, and eventually I believed him. And I'm ever so grateful for Mike, my friend Mike, for just basically believing in me and telling me I should not give up. So I've been writing songs for a while now, releasing music, and got a f couple of albums out. Vulnerability, Not on Island. Got an album called Anomaly, which is out 2021 20, throughout the year. And sorry, it's not an album, it's an EP. It's six songs. It's almost an album, but it's not quite. I live in a place called Cambridge. Um, this is my home. This is my home studio. A couple of guitars here. By the way, this is um, how the actual studio looks when filming. Mm, get on my knees. What's that? That's a heat press. And this is a load of stuff in my yellow chair. All right, I'm on the floor now, holding a camera at a really weird angle. I am also trying to run this thing as a DIY record label. So you guys may have been part of this journey for a while. You've followed what I'm doing. A lot of what I've been able to do, certainly through 2020, has been because A, my wife works, and B, just being honest, and B, um, Patreon. Like, Patreon has been a game changer for me. And you know, this week, next week, if you're watching this, when I actually release this video, I'm giving away a special like uh, enamel pin badge, getting them made for my patrons, getting them to decide on the design as well, and giving it to anyone else who joins my Patreon crew in the next few days. So 
that's pretty awesome. Patreon has been incredible. And I just want to give a big shout out to all of my patrons and my one YouTube member at the moment. Thank you so much guys for being part of this and for allowing me to continue as an artist. And then my Kickstarter backers who helped me record an EP as well. So just shout out to those people. You're amazing. If you want to find out more about that, go down here, find out, look. My passion is, I guess, to create raw, vulnerable, honest songs um, that hopefully will help change someone's life. I've actually really enjoyed doing the business side of music as well. I feel like I've learned a lot and yet I've got loads more to learn about how to run a DIY record label. And though I do not officially have a record label or am a record label, I do have a lot of the things set up as if it were a record label, if that makes sense. So I've been really enjoying that, having a lot of fun with learning the business side of things, a lot about marketing, a lot about digital media. Um, and making loads of mistakes and failing loads and then figuring out what to do about it. My favourite moment in the studio probably was during the recording of Not An Island. Um, it's an album which for me was like, I think when I recorded the album I'd been touring for two years solid pretty much and realising that my set was a little bit on the kind of sluggish side and needed a load of bangers to kind of give it a bit of energy playing live so I wrote that song with a few festivals in mind that I played the previous year and actually started recording it for real like um, drums and bass um, I think the day after traveling from driving the other side of Germany after playing a 1am set um, at a festival called Homewood Festival there driving back 12 hours um, absolutely knackered, then flying up the following evening up to Glasgow. Weird, isn't it? I drove from Germany to the UK and then flew from Cambridge up to Glasgow, go figure, and then had three days of solid tracking. Thankfully, I wasn't recording much myself. I was there listening and giving feedback. But I guess in a nutshell, that was an amazing way to kind of experience the extremes of artist life from one end of Germany, playing a crazy gig, really having a great time there, amazing people, traveling back, lots of driving, um, coming up, being in a studio, being creative in a different way and I just love the creative process and how different it can be every single time you're recording. That's my story, I've told you what I'm doing now, what's it going to look like in the future, where am I going, what do I want to achieve? Um, I don't want to talk loads about goals today. I feel I've done stacks of vlogs about all that kind of stuff, but I feel like the direction of this channel is going to change a little bit. I feel like I've almost exhausted the whole how to do this, how to think like this. I haven't got all the answers by the way, in case you're wondering, which I'm pretty sure you knew. Um, but I want to give a bit more of an experience of indie artist life and so maybe focusing a little bit more on, you know, how to be a dad as an artist. Dad life and artist life. We don't talk about this sort of stuff much and I try not to give too much focus on being a dad because partly I, I want to shield my daughter but also I want to make sure that, I don't know, when you get a bit older in music you kind of think, oh, am I getting too old for this, you know? And some people will tell you you are, but I feel there's still stuff for me to do. So I don't want to shy away from that, I want to be real about that. I also want to kind of share my life a little bit more. So. Maybe some of my songwriting process more, blogging more um, as if you were with me in the process rather than giving loads of information to you, um, which has been cool and I've really enjoyed doing that, but I feel it's it's had its time and so I'm going to change that a little bit. I want to give more focus on my YouTube channel as well, um, I'd be a bit more vulnerable with you and, um, and write a stack more songs. You know, every year I want to be writing more songs. It kind of embarrassed to say this, but it's the truth. I haven't written a song all year. Like, not properly, I've got ideas and stuff, but I've not properly written a song. Mainly because I've been focusing on finishing the first draft of the book um, and figuring out what this next period of my life looks like. Doing a lot of content for like TikTok and stuff like that. And also, you know, putting together a songwriting course, things like that, and trying to just earn money as an artist to survive. But where am I going? More songs, more releases hopefully in the future. And I'd love this channel to grow as well. Like, wouldn't it be awesome to have like 10k subscribers to start with and then see where it goes from there. I feel like the future of music for indie artists is 
along the lines of, how do I say this? I'm happy to give a lot of stuff away for free. Like, I give music away for free. Yes, people back me on Kickstarter and stuff. Um, and then there's people who want to... I, I feel my job is to show up as much as possible, in as many ways as possible, to involve you in as much of what I do. So we're going to have some fun with some of that sort of stuff. But also, um, there's people who choose to show up with me and want to show up with me and want to be a part of that. So you will still get all the music video type stuff from me. And you'll also get kind of like the shorts and stuff like that that I've been doing. And that's been fun and doing the covers and all that kind of thing. But I do want to kind of bridge that middle ground between like the super professional sounding songs and great videos and stuff like I've got an amazing animated video coming very soon can't wait for you to see it but also all the kind of stuff that's like this is real this is gritty this is not polished um, welcome and I guess what I'm asking you guys is you know you can show up with me you can show up with me I don't I'm not asking for anything from you in some ways um, I just want you to be here uh, I want you to share so if you like what you're hearing or you kind of want to just get behind what I'm doing, share, share my music or share the content that you like. You know, if you if if this is for you and if you've got a little bit of spare cash, join me on Patreon or join me on the YouTube membership. Like, it massively makes a difference for me and I really do try and give my absolute best for my patrons. So yeah, or my inner circle as I'm not now calling it. I just realized I need to go any minute now to pick up my daughter from preschool. So I better finish this really soon. Um, but thank you, thank you for for those of you who've been on the journey with me, thank you. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for listening to my songs. If you've never heard of me before, which is probably quite a lot of you, go listen to Pyramid Park. Go tell me your favorite song. Maybe leave in the comments what kind of content you'd like from me as well. Um, I, people say, oh, I love behind the scenes footage, but like actually be real specific with that. Behind the scenes footage of, I don't know. I'm thinking of showing you my favorite three places in Cambridge or my favourite five places in Cambridge and give you like a little bit of a tour around the different places that I love and why. Um, so even stuff like that or, you know, drop some comments below. I will take it all into consideration. I'll try and reply to everything. So thank you so much for listening to me ramble on today. This is me, a little bit about my past, a little bit about my present, a little bit about my future, what I'm hoping for anyway. And um, one day I hope to be an owner of a, another new guitar as well. Take care.